Welcome back. We are back in Fusion after a long break and we have a special opening fight for you here this evening to kick off this evening of action. Don't forget to go to infusionlive.com, order your pay-per-view now, watch the fights live with us. We have Dennis Corman here tonight as host and special guest Walid Hamid. Would you like to say about the upcoming fight? Yeah, we have a very nice, interesting fight to kick things off. Um, we have one side, we have a, a young Argentinian guy, uh, Gennaro Larotonda. Well, what a name like that. What can go wrong? Makes you want to sing already. Um, from Argentina, as I said, but trains out of the Hammers Gym, the well-renowned Hammers Gym in uh, Breda, Netherlands. So he's not unused to uh, be sparring with high-level opposition. Let's see how it goes in the fight. Uh, I know he's very composed for his age. He's 3-0, perfect record. Uh, up against a Moroccan guy, Mohamed Oudmani, uh, with nine fights under his belt, only one loss. Uh, and this guy's also very well-rounded, likes to pressure a lot, can get a little bit reckless sometimes, but Harry, it's, it's talent. So yeah. uh, a young, upcoming guy looking to get some experience. Uh, Walid, if, if we talk about young talents, upcoming guys, what are the things you like? What are the things you're looking for, what you like to see? Um, I like to see good techniques and um, I like to see a, a strong mentality, mentality within the fights. So people are eager to, to fight. Yeah, yeah, it's not not a problem to make mistakes. We all make. We have to learn. Exactly. Uh, how yeah. important is it for young upcoming fighters to have a, a, a stage like this to, yeah, uh, show themselves but also um, um, develop themselves. That's very important um, because uh, Infusion is one of the bigger stages and uh, when they get the chance to fight here, uh, it's good for their development but also for their, for their uh, self-confidence and when their self-confidence grows, they, uh, they grow also as a fighter. Yeah, well, it's like I said, it's all about the talents tonight. We have some Definitely. great fights coming up later on uh, Infusion Talents. We have, I think, some uh, some women's fights. We have a comeback fight. Uh, we have some lightweight action. Uh, there's a we, lot to like here. We have it all going on tonight. We have old names. We have new names. And don't forget on Infusion, we have the new Infusion prediction skill game. You can go there now. You sign up for free. We have three of the main event cards. You can choose and play around with the odds. You can have a look on the leaderboard. And we have amazing, amazing prizes. They can win two flight tickets to our Abu Dhabi Infusion event, as well as a, a drive around the Formula One track. You can win a week or two weeks in Super Pro. Lots of many prizes. So Walid, I think everyone should go to the stream and sign up. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. So make sure uh, yeah. make sure you join the the, the skill game, because yeah. uh, why wouldn't you? A lot of uh, beautiful prizes. Yeah. yeah, so join the skill game infusionlive.com yeah. and enjoy the live action tonight. Yeah, uh, one last question for you: Are you a gambling man or not? Um, not really. No. I uh, I like to uh, play safe. Oh, you're a fighter. You like <laughs> to fighter. you like to execute. Yeah, I, I like true. to gamble. It's so much more 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 fun if you watch a fight. And there's something else on the line because you're invested, because you have a little bit of money, or in, yeah. in this case, you can win great prizes. Yeah. So I would say go for it, people. For sure. So enjoy the next fight, Dennis. Yeah, uh, we're going to see, uh, like I said, La Rotonda against Udmani. This promises to be a high-packed, high-action fight. So uh, enjoy, people. And don't forget, if you like this fight, go get this live stream. Where we have a lot of talents coming afterwards. Infusionlive.com. See you soon. We are back. Enfusion presents Enfusion 100 on Sunday the 4th of July from Alkmaar, the Netherlands. Dwayne Panker will stand against Mohamed Simsek. Oh, big uppercut pushes the head right back as he covers and he goes down. Oh, there we go. Kweni Sebregetz battles against Buryan Poposhi. Pieche Doye returns to face Matthew Dalman. Oh, Misha Eridus faces Mohamed Tuchesi. Oh, yeah. oh, Mahmoud Steph and Jeroen Van Diemen will stand toe to toe. Oh, Watch live at InfusionLive. Well, ladies and gentlemen in the audience, when viewers from all over the world, I welcome you live from Alkmaar, the Netherlands, for the Infusion Talents. The first talent fight is in the bantamweight category. Fighting out of the blue corner, representing Argentina. Gennaro La Rotonda! 
we go. We have a very special fight to start the evening off you. I know you're watching on YouTube. Well, if you enjoy this fight, please go to infusionlive.com. Sign up now for the Infusion link for later. Infusion Talents and Infusion. We have got a great lineup for you. But going back to the action now, we have Gennaro Latonda making his way to the ring, representing Argentina. He's from Hemmer's Gym. This is Bantamweight. He's had three fights, three wins. Well, there he is, uh, Gennaro La Rotonda. So he's on the road to success. When his opponent, Viking, out of the red corner representing Morocco, Mohamed Udmani. So here comes his opponent, Mohamed Udmani. Representing Morocco from Team Solo, total of 10 fights, 9 wins, 1 loss and 2 KOs. So he is entering the ring. But just as we have a moment, if you just watched us, you can see we have a special guest here tonight, Mr. Walid Hamid. Welcome to the show. Nice to have you this side of the road. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Well, we hope you enjoy it tonight. Well, so there he is, Mohamed Udmani. So this is a special infusion rookies bow for you to kick the evening off. When well, the man fighting out of the blue corner representing Argentina. Three fights on this record, three victories, ladies and gentlemen. Gennaro La Rotonda. Gennaro. His opponent in the red corner from Morocco. Ten fights on this record, nine victories and one defeat. Two of his winning fights by way of knockout. Mohamed. Udmani! When this fight in the bottom weight category is scheduled for three rounds of three minutes. The referee is Mr. Mufadel El Ghazawi, and this fight is sponsored by Venom. So there we go, we've had the introduction. So this is one fight for you, a special on YouTube. So enjoy it. If you're in, you want to join the action, we have so much tonight, Infusion Talents and Infusion. And if you haven't heard about the Infusion skill game, prediction game, go to infusionlive.com now. You have until 8.30 local time, we're here in Holland, to make your predictions and get on that leaderboard to win fantastic prizes. As I mentioned earlier, trips to Abu Dhabi, trips to Thailand and lots, lots more. So, back to the fight for the moment. Walid, what are you expecting? Do you know either of these fighters? Uh, I don't know them, but um, they uh, they start uh, magnificent. Um, uh, a nice trade-off. Uh, Gennaro immediately forward. It's uh, yeah, like a typical uh, Hammers Gym style. Yeah, we did see Almani. Yeah, nice um, push kick. We've seen him in Alkmaar before fighting. He's got a really nice style. I did enjoy his last fight. Before he fought at a really high pace, but uh, he seems to be controlling himself yeah. at the moment. Uh, I already uh, enjoyed uh, like several push kicks uh, attempts. He, uh, tr he utilizes the distance very good. Uh, nice jumping, uh, jumping kick. So he looks uh, very calculated. Nice oh, shot. Nice one to uh, and, uh, and a high kick by uh, Otmani. Oh, nice slipped, uh, skipped his uh, punch very good and reacted immediately. He's got good movement, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Push kick. He throws a variety of shots. He's very unpredictable um, and he's moving very well. Should, should keep his uh, chin a little bit lower. Yeah, I agree. But he's got good movement for the moment. He's yeah. moving his head well. Yes. That was a nice, nice left liver body punch. shot. Nice liver punch. Again, again goes to the liver. Rotonda trying to keep the pressure on. Nice, nice combination. Mani tries to get back into the center of the ring. Mohamed Ogmani should uh, keep up with the push kicks and uh, break uh, break the distance and break uh, the offense of uh, Gennaro. I think he will try find a, a lot of success in the push kick. Yeah, because he's really trying to hunt him down, isn't yes. he? Yeah. Going into his space. Yeah. And with the push kick, he keeps him on distance and breaks uh, the offense. Ooh, Ooh. Ooh, good nice. shots being traded. Wobbled him a little bit with the right hook. Oh, yes. Nice combination. Goes to the body, goes to the Whoa, head. Oh, 
Jamie he Shaw. Him, uh, he's, um, oh, oh, nice jumping knee uh, landed by Gennaro. Good high kick. This is an exciting fight, and this, this is, is just the beginning of the evening. We have got great matchups for you here tonight. Really, get to infusionlive.com. Don't not only sign up for the live fights this evening, Infusion Talent starting at quarter past seven, local Dutch time, Infusion at 9 p.m., but sign up for the skill game. You won't be able to make predictions for tonight's fights after 8.30, so get them in now and get those points on the leaderboard for future events. Well, we're into the last 10 seconds of this first round. Nice exchange. Both uh, jumping in with the right knee, catching him with the straight round. right uh, on his jaw. Well, I really enjoyed that first round. Yes, yes. Lots they're, of action. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're uh, both try to uh, to uh, yeah, try to uh, to fight forward. I think uh, Moment Utmani is a little bit more calculated, and um, su success is more in in finding uh, the the distance. Yeah, he's got nice movement. That was nice body shots being landed from Gennaro there, but it was kind of back and forth, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think um, I'm not. I'm, I'm of course not uh, not uh, not from the judges, but I think a slight uh, slight edge uh, for Utmani because he also wobbled them with uh, several uh, punching combinations, and uh, yeah, it was nice to see. So there we go. There we are. Well, make sure you join us in FusionLive.com. Come here, ring side. Web seconds out for the second round. And get the action as it unfolds. We're going into round number two now. I'm looking forward uh, for uh, round uh, number two. If, uh, if it's the same like in, uh, round one, it's, uh, it promises a lot. Yeah, I think Almani had a feeling that he was going to get that stoppage in round number one. So I don't know if it's going to force the pace. Yeah, that's right. In toe to toe, doubling that left kick up. Yeah, I think uh, the first round uh, was a wake up call for uh, for uh, Gennaro. Likes to go forward, doesn't he, Gennaro? Yeah, typical Hammers uh, gym style. Nice body kick by uh, Utmani. Trying to find his thoughts, patient. Uh, tells him to come forward. Ooh, walks on the left hook from uh, Gennaro. I think he's a little bit wobbly. Pace has slowed down a little bit this second mm -hmm. round. As you said, they're trying to calculate each other. No, nice body shot, jumping knee attempt. Oh, money now. He needs to get into the center of the ring. He's fighting really different to when I seen him before. He was very fast paced. Yeah. Should try utilize more his push kicks when he uh, when he uh, takes down uh, when he makes uh, less pace. Nice, nice, uh, nice body shots. Deep, trying Push to keep him again. away. That's what he needs to do, yeah. try and control yeah. that distance in. Yeah. Especially now he slowed down the pace. Better movement from Albumani as well. Yes, keeps making his points. As I say, that is standing in the corner. That's a terrible place to be standing. Yeah, Gennaro uh, really tries uh, to, to find the combinations. Nice body kick. Ooh, he dips his uh, head down, uh, very, uh, very dangerous. Opening up with the boxing, nice finishing with a low kick. Using that jab to move away. Very dangerous. <laughs> well, we're coming up into the last 30 seconds. And isn't it great to see some audience back here, isn't it? Like yes. we had a Corona Monk special with no audience and we've got limited now because we're sticking to the corona rules, but it already creates that atmosphere, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, uh, it creates uh, uh, a nice, uh, a nice, uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, it's a good, 
good atmosphere, and I think atmosphere. it's nice for the fighters to hear people cheering for them. Yeah, of course. I uh, I remember. Oh, yeah, nice in my round. fights, I really liked it when the when, when, the, the, end of the, second when round. the audience was uh, was shouting. Yeah, it gives you that extra it gives power, me some extra doesn't it? Extra energy, exactly. Well, Gennaro there, he was landing a couple of nice right hands as yeah. the bell was going. Yeah, I think the, the first round for Otmani, second round uh, for uh, Gennaro. Um, so now it's uh, it's all or nothing for both fighters, actually. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Gennaro, he really came through that round. Yeah, sure, sure. I, uh, I asked myself why uh, Mohamed Otmani uh, yeah, slowed down his pace. He was, uh, he was doing very well, wobbled him a few times, yeah. and uh, now he's taking, like, very easy. No, take it easy. Yeah, well, you need to step up the gears again for this third round. Yeah. Oh, there's the right yeah. hand. And again, I think he's just a sitting duck standing Second in the corner. Second the third round. Yeah. Armani as well in his eyes. He could see that he didn't do so well in that round. So let's hope. Yeah. It's hard, isn't it, to pull yourself through when you're on the, the receiving end to, like, Get yourself hyped back up. Let's see if he can do it now. That's all or nothing uh, for both fighters. Uh, it's now the question who's more eager for uh, for the win. So uh, we'll see who wants it uh, more. Nice block. Nice one to liver punch uh, by Gennaro. He keeps pressure, keeps the pressure very good. Nice hooks. This Very is nice better hooks. from Otmani, isn't it? Yeah. And this is just the beginning of the evening. If you just logged in, make sure you go to infusionlive.com. Join the live stream. We're about to go live with Infusion Talents in literally 10 minutes. So sign up now and take a look at this skill game, the prediction skill game. Lots of prizes to be won. Also, the skill game is good because it gets to know the fighters and you can yep. use your skill how you think they're going to fight. No, exactly. Also, uh, yeah, makes makes people curious about the fighters and maybe they'll do the research on the fighters yeah. to uh, may, uh, make a good prediction. Yeah, we've got great fights. Ooh, nice right hook by, uh, by uh, Utmani. He has, to answer, a a he has to answer more. He's Very leaving. beautiful ex exchange. Leaving his chin open though, isn't he? Yes. He leaves one. He leaves, he leaves the chin open, but he, su he successes more with the exchanges. Gennaro shows uh, he wants to win more. Yeah, he's just keeping that pressure on. Nash push kicks. Has to keep his uh, guard up, uh, Omani, because uh, Gennaro can... Can surprise him every any time. Nice one too, by Otmani. Yeah, he's coming through a little bit now. One minute left on the clock. Jumping the attempt, left hook uh, connects. Leaves his uh, chin way too uh, too uh, too high. So really digging deep now as they go into the last 50 seconds. All that training really counts now, doesn't it? All those hours of fitness and sparring. Yes. Good jab for jab. Nice body shot. We go into the last 30 seconds of the fight. Who wants it? Uh, who, who's more eager for the win? Nice Good combination chance. by uh, Utmani. Wow, look at okay, this action nice. He's here. coming forward. Both ways are trying to find their way. Both fighters. Exchange. When the end of the third round. Nice fight, very nice. Well, respect for each go. other. I enjoyed that one. Yes. I think uh, Gennaro uh, is self confident about the win. Here's some of the action. Good hooks nice hooks inside. There. Nice. Thrown with full force. Yep. One, two. Nice.
good just landing as he's pushing forward Armani really tried to push forward that round didn't he he wasn't so successful yes. in the rounds one and two yeah let's see how the judges have it looking happy with this performance there I'm going to let you into a little secret. Looking at their gloves there, Infusion might be having some merchandise coming up soon. So uh, another reason to have a look at the website. Keep check on it. I can't say it enough. Infusionlive.com. Well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, a big, a big applause for these two athletes. Gennaro, La Rotonda, and Mohamed Utmani. When after three rounds of three minutes, we've counted the points and we have a split decision. In favor of the man in the blue corner, Gennaro La Rotonda. Yeah, I think well deserved. Um, scored more points over the three round, over the, the, the the three rounds. When also a big applause for his opponent for tonight's fight, Mohamed Utmani. Well, there we go. So check out infusionlive.com. Look, you can see what's coming up. And after that, we have Infusion as well. Infusion 100, it is a special edition and we are back after the Corona period. So take a look at what we have coming up in Infusion 100. When well, the next fight, is in the featherweight division. Fighting out of the blue corner representing the Netherlands, Patricia Brude! So it's all about the live stream here on the future and being back after the corona period. You know, it's, it's been a long time, hasn't it, Wally? The corona period, gyms were shut. A very long time. I, uh, I hope uh, the, the, the fighters stayed busy because it's, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's a, a very tough time to keep your motivation for a fighter. So here we have Patricia making her way to the ring. Well, there she is, Patricia Bruder. Well, and then her opponent fighting out of the red corner representing the Netherlands, Wendy Bru. So yeah, Patricia, we just seen walk in. She's actually 39 years of age, 38 fights, 25 wins, nine losses, four draws, five KOs. And she is facing Wendy Brox this evening. She represents the Netherlands from the Coliseum gym. She's had a total of 29 fights, 28 well, wins, one loss. Wendy Brooks. That's a pretty impressive record with seven KOs. I'm looking forward to this opening female fight. Me too. So, Wendy in the red corner. Well, the young lady fighting out of the blue corner, representing the Netherlands. 38 fights on her record, 25 victories, 9 defeats and 4 draws. 5 of her winning fights by way of 